excuse me. Excuse me. What in the world are you thinking? Me, Gene, the first thing you need to do is to tell these people to shut up if you want to hear what I got to say. What up, y'all? Can't be the sexy ninja in the place to be for a paper saber universe, and this is the New World Podcast, brother. We're going to talk about Collision, November 4th, 2023. Nigel, Kevin, Tony on commentary. We're in Wichita. We start the show off with AR for... <laughs> I hate when I get tongue-tied like that, but everyone says they love it because I like to make noises afterwards, like, and all that. Just who I am. AR Fox versus Swerve Strickland. I like the way this started off. They start they they got the promos back in the starting of the show. They haven't been doing it for a couple weeks, but they did it this week and it got me excited. Old school, hey yo, brother. You know, like you they they're cutting their promos, and then you have Swerve who's cutting his, and here comes AR Fox because this feud kind of was just put on the back burner, but now here we go, right here, right now. You know, AR Fox is attacking, and uh, then we get the match started. Gates of Agony come out, and, you know, they're on the, the ringside, and Swerve and AR Fox took this match to the limit, and it was fun. AR Fox looking great. I want more. I want more of AR Fox. I've said that before. I remember when I first saw AR Fox in Ring of Honor, I was like, this guy is talented like maybe you got to repackage him or something like that you know get rid of the green pants and i don't know i love ar fox i think he's a he's a tremendous talent and him and swerve in this first match really opened up the gates of uh agony if you will <laughs> no, i'm just kidding open up the gates of awesomeness so but then uh, you know here they start beating down and here comes ftr you know, um, Big Bill and Ricky Stars comes out, and then LFI comes out, and at the end of this, you know, uh, at, while all this is going on, the House of Black are watching on, and you know, the LF um, FTR try to shake LFI's hand. LFI's like, yeah, you know, get out of here. We, we're 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 just doing our thing, so get out of here. You know, <laughs> we have MJF and uh, Daniel Garcia package. Daniel Garcia challenged MJF next week on Dynamite for the AEW World Championship, so. I, I like that Daniel Garcia is going to kind of get away from Daddy Magic and Cool Hand and I, I think Daniel Garcia is is uber, uber awesome, and he, he, he can be a star if put in the right direction. So then we have an MJF in the backstage. Then we have from last week, MJF cuts a promo on Jay White. Jay White cuts a promo with the Bang Bang Gang. Um... MJF is pissed. He wants his championship back, and he will get it back at full gear here in a couple weeks. Kip Sabian speaks, you know, talks about the workhorsemen and the the group that the, he is claiming to be called the Sex Stallions. I don't know about that name, but sure. <laughs> we have the Kingdom up versus Squash Gang. Uh, Roderick Strong gets out of his wheelchair at a certain point because we got Adam! Adam! <laughs> and, yeah, uh, you, we got to be aware of Neck. Neck health, neck awareness month, man. We got to be aware of this. But well, Kingdom for the win. <laughs> Roderick Strong popping up out of that wheelchair. That was funny. Christian Cage package. You know, they got the big trios match coming up. Um, we have Mark Briscoe backstage because Mark Briscoe is back. Uh, Kip Sabian was mentioning earlier because uh, it's going to be a, um, a triple threat. Oh, well, no, three. Three on three, you know, match with Mark and FTR is like, we got your back. And he's like, no, nah, I got, I got some other boys in mind, but you guys go handle business at the end of tonight. Uh, we have Alex uh, with Swerve and we sets up a match for Penta and Swerve t- going head to head at Dynamite. They're really building that card, and I'm getting excited and, and excited as the night's progressing. Lance Archer versus Darby Allen, Darby Allen for the win, and I'm just like. Mm-hmm. Okay, Lance Archer's a beast. You know he's the he, he's the dude that's like I'm gonna take you in that ring. I'm gonna do what I need to do. The safety word is skateboard. <laughs> but he got beat by Darby Allen. Jake Jake's out there, and he cuts he cuts a promo like no 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 that's what's happening. The righteous. He brings out the righteous. So now they are under the wings of Jake the Snake with uh, Lance Archer. This faction is gonna be interesting if it is that. Um, but they cut, you know, they, they, they beat, they, I don't know. I, it's just one of those things like the Righteous and Jake the Snake and Lance Archer. It's just, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. Willow Sky, Chris backstage. I'm just like, I just, uh, where are we going with this? 
you know, like, oh, well, <laughs> good job, Sky, for not turning your back on us. Because that was really hard. And Julia was like, whatever. And, you know, Will was like, you're my friend. You're my friend. Oh, no, we're still friends. And I'm just like, I. <sighs> The Acclaim come out to celebrate 69 day. And uh, Max got a MJF uh, video saying, you know, saying like, hey, scissors, you know, I thank you for taking the bullet last week. Everything like that. You know, I appreciate it. And uh, he's showing some love. He says, I, I'm coming to maybe like, you know, you are a part of me, but like a fungus. And, you know, this, this was a this was a fun segment, 69. It ran a little bit longer than it should. And then out of nowhere, here comes Dalton Castle and the boys, and I'm like, are, is this a match scheduled? I I guess Dalton's going full go, take off all his, his uh, robe and everything like that, like the, the one piece suit. Uh, and then he, it, it was just like, okay. And he grabs the trophy, throws it out, and then boom, we got a match. I'm like, oh. <laughs> and the match itself was very, I don't know, it, it very okay, very okay for especially for it being a trios match. Um, the acclaim get the win, sixty nine days, baby, scissor me. You know, Daddy Ass had some fun with the crowd earlier. So, like, oh, look at this sign, look at that sign. So, uh, 69, everybody. Get 69! The Sex Stallions versus Mark Briscoe, Dustin Rose, Keith Lee. Eh. You know, uh, nah. Mark Briscoe, Dustin Rose, Keith Lee for the win. It, it was fun for what it was. Willow Nightingale versus uh, Sakura. Uh, Willow for the win. Getting back on track of being... Um, Winning some matches. Willow Nightingale needs to get back on track indeed because I feel like the women's division needs something. It needs something. Sure, we got timeless Tony Storm and uh, going on and everything like that, but I, I, it, there's no Britt Baker. You know, everyone's talking about her being the devil and everything like that. So there's really not much going on in the women's division, and I'm, I'm kind of sad about that. Uh, hopefully, we can get Willow, Willow Nightingale back into that championship run. But Sky Blue, hell, even as well. You know, you, you he's got some great talent that um, that are down in Ring of Honor that could come up and start sizzling things up. You know, you, you still have Soraya, you have Ruby, who've done you've done nothing with really. Uh, Tony, I, you know, he had the Outcast faction for a little bit, but that's not there anymore. So we'll see as we go on. But Willow's got the win. Lexi's backstage with Samoa Joe, and I will say this: I am a Samoa Joe fan. I'm a Samoa Joe Mark. I love Samoa Joe. I used to be a huge Keith Lee fan. I still I still think the world of Keith Lee. But he has been underutilized in WWE and AEW hard with a hard H. Like and when Samoa Joe's like, I beat up everybody. And then, like, this is that moment where Keith's like, not everybody, you know, using big words because I'm Keith Lee. And I'm like, and it's like, Samoa Joe and Keith Lee next week for the Ring of Honor Television Championship. And I'm like, I just hope Joe smashes him. <laughs> That's like, because I don't, I don't see Keith Lee as a threat. Yes, he's a huge dude, but I don't see him as a threat to Samoa Joe. There's going to be some spots where, you know, boom, 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 to trying to get the advantage of each other's strength. But I, at the end of it, I just see Samoa Joe adding another victim to his resume. And that is Keith Lee. That, I'm, so, I'm not sorry, sorry, not, you know, whatever. It just, it was one of those things where I know, I know a few people I saw like, oh my God, Keith Lee versus Samoa Joe next week. And I was like, eh. <laughs> um, JR's on commentary. We got the main event. FTR, LFI versus Big Bill, Ricky Starks, Gates of Agony. Uh, you know, and this this was fun. This was a really good match uh, back and forth. A lot of, like, getting Roosh back into the picture is what I was really, all I really cared about with this match. Like, making, and have Roosh getting the pin and getting the win for LFI, FTR. Um, and I, 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 that crowd was like Roosh, Roosh, and I was like Roosh, and I was like looking at his shirts. I was like, "Ooh, I need to get a, I need to get a Roosh shirt because if you mess with the bull, you get the horns." Um, yeah, I, I had a lot of fun with this main event. Overall, I gotta say, with Collision, you know, even with the House of Black stuff and FTR, and then you know, here comes Blackpool Combat Club and stuff like that. <sighs> Collision, I don't know. Colli- like, <sighs> there's a lot going on. A lot going on, but a not not a lot going on. You know, like it's like where the stories are trying to be driven. Where you know, we I know we have all this we have all this past stuff between all these opponents. You know, so we're, we shall see when we get the full gear. 
here in a couple weeks. Yeah, and then uh, announced Okada versus Brian Danielson at uh, Wrestle Kingdom 18. That's awesome. Moxie's got a match there, too. So a lot of stuff going on. Uh, we got full gear. Dynamite looks banging. I'm very excited about Dynamite. I got to give this uh, AEW Collision 3 out of 10. Well, no, 3 out of 5. Sorry, 3 out of 5. AR Fox and Swerve Strickland was my match of the night. Second to that was the uh, main event with FTR and LFI versus Big Bill, Ricky Starks, Gates of Agony. And that's it. That's all. Tell me what you thought of the show. Drop those comments below. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. And uh, remember that the New World Podcast is for life. Tip Sabian on the workhorse, but took that. And neck help is something we need to take seriously. Oh, look at this. Roderick Strong. Battling through the pain. A surge is driven.